In this video, I am going to take a look at how you can use Excel to easily create a graph from data for the purpose of um, doing some more process-oriented questioning of your students around your curricular area. So um, what I did here is I went actually to Wikipedia of all things, and I did a search for deaths by um, by war, and these are estimates in the millions of deaths um, the, by war, and it's the highest estimate of the, because they also had data for the lowest estimate for deaths by each of these wars. And I kind of thought it would be cool exercise uh, to actually have um, groups or individuals all collect this data from different websites and send it, like put it in a Dropbox, in a, uh, possibly have the graph on a Word document, throw it into a teacher Dropbox, and then have the teacher put that in a presentation, like a flip chart or a PowerPoint presentation, and um, compare and contrast the data depending upon where the source came from, and then try to come to some conclusion what might be an accurate reflection um, of the death tolls by war and, and ask some other interesting higher order thinking questions. So anyway, this is how you would go about creating a chart to visualize that data. In this particular one, I'm going to show you how you do a very simple bar graph. So what I usually do is I select the information. So I clicked in cell A1 and I dragged down to the last cell, which was B6, had this, has the number 2 in it. Next, you can go under the insert menu and you can go down to chart. That's one way of doing this. But I also wanted to mention that just under this formatting toolbar, you have a charts option as well. And there's a lot of different types of charts to choose from. I'm going to choose the column option, which is just like a bar graph, but flip flop the other way. So I'm going to choose column. And then really you only have to click on the most simple one and you're pretty much going to get your graph with a couple missing things like titles and, and whatnot. So um, if you want to spice it up just slightly, you should know that if you get your toolbox out, see that slide over here, and you want to have that this first icon selected. You can see you have chart options, chart data, chart style. If I do the chart style here, I can easily change the um, numbers on my chart, I mean, excuse me, the colors. And if I go to chart options, I can do a couple things that are important, like put a title. So I do the chart title and I want to call this um, death toll by war. And then I might want to put in a cat category title for the X axis and that is war name. And then I'm going to put in the y-axis name, which is going to be uh, the death toll. And this is actually in the millions of people. So um, that looks pretty good to me. And then I can click on chart data, and you can do some sorting and whatnot. But there, that's all just um, advanced things that you don't necessarily need. At this point, I can drag this chart to make it bigger or smaller by dragging the corner. And I could also copy this and I could paste it on a PowerPoint presentation, a Word document, or a flip chart. And um, that's a simple bar graph. 